hey good morning guys so we are back to the same point we was discussing about this loop test and cleaning and inventory file and we run the ansible playbook we call our inventory and that the loop test yaml my play so this is my play i use the rx which is already available and you can see the outputs coming in my not in IP came into R1, R2, R3. Absolutely fine. And I saw them. And I want to see the standard outline because this defining play. So that's why it's coming the output in that format. So we are good to understand this. Now, what is the unwanted thing you think you are getting in this play? Anyone? and everyone tell me uh, this warning sign okay excellent so if you have suppose 50 device 80 or 100 device and you are capturing this log so this warning also going to be captured suppose if i remove this warning then your R1, R2, only the inventory list will be there. Don't you think that's more, more neat and clean part? Yes, no. Anyhow, I know that. I know that because while I'm preparing my, my play, so I know that this is the network CLI. So anyhow, network CLI, I know that my connection type in network CLI, so I'm accepting this warning. Don't you think the Python interpreter is not running? There is no installation of the Python interpreter. I know that. Yes. So I should not know about that. I prepare my inventory like that. So we have to remove this part. So any clue from where I should add it? Should I add it in my play or somewhere else? anyone any idea if someone telling us to this is coming from the gathered facts by default the facts are gathered no because i disable that information gather facts otherwise you can see use the more of fact right even though it will connect but the lots of there is lots of gather facts going to be generated right i already disabled this is the warning coming which is going to be explicitly going to so this warning nothing just i am going to update after the and after this so this is called i have inventory i have already created in this behavior file 5.2 how can i avoid the warning from every network device is a question so these are the warning i want to avoid so you have to edit your ansible cfg file and under the default class you have to define interpreter python auto challenge so you have to do auto challenge anyhow this is good for the any network device because you are not going to install the python on the network device. do you agree or not yes okay so let's understand this part we are going to do this is very huge for i'm going to i'm going to are copy mean... this and uh yes um never uh yeah uh, nikhil just uh paste one uh arg argument so one false can we use this uh just it, check it, in our uh, Okay, okay, let me see yeah. what he has put. So I was wondering, uh, instead of changing, I mean, of course, we would want to change the, okay. the yeah, Ansible, so, Ansible file. I was wondering if we can this. Warnings false, this. Okay, so I'm going to paste. Okay, let me, let me go in here. 
but we will try both because this is our class where we can try everything so i'm going to open one new notepad and i'm going to keep this information there and i'm going to use oh sorry best let me go for this guys this be careful with the spellings okay otherwise it's not going to work best and i'm going to copy each parameter also which is defined by him here arguments args like verbs we have args and the warning right so let's use this in the our play so i'm going to use first one from nickel what he given so nickel tell me can you brief for uh, how it's so helpful where i supposed to use in the play or so uh, i'm wondering we could use that under so we initially we have defined the name for the play right okay. below that we have gather facts no or gather fact false yes below that or after connections you can define arguments and under arguments warning will be false okay great and so let's use this so everyone you understand you have this dictionary so that's come under what Ugs, arguments goes warning false so any warning supposed to come false so i'm going to define this ugs post this and this there's two spaces you have to remember and then follow this and this i think this is taking this accepted because the color had changed so i'm going to save this and going to run this and we will understand the output so anything you want to try don't hesitate there is no punishment nothing you going to learn new thing guys this is the right way okay so i'm going to run my play there is an argument is not a valid attribute to play so we will do the there's a name okay name here just and clean oh, let me check if there is a syntax we have to follow the argument is there right gather facts i can't go inside that that looks good to me okay anything nickel you want to see here i, I don't know exactly where would this fall but my understanding is that it should be in line with name which it seems like i think i should okay let me define other name otherwise after connection i, I think uh, because no, it's, the connection. it's not it's not going to matter with the after connections the region behind that they are on the same parameter so you can give ups and down also they will pick up according to their use okay there is no matter where do you place this let me do this and show you you will get the same error because you are placing this on the same preference okay your error will be same if you have same preferences so having same priorities they will use according to that means they will work at the same instant on that then they will look in, inside that okay so okay guys this is i will come with that this is one solution i know that but not like this the different one and this will not going to disable your this warning this will disable other warning okay just i want to show i don't have ready syntax means which is i already tested i have not tested it on this so okay so i will gather but it's a notes for me i'm going to work on this warning if i'm able to disable okay this is everyone please walk google it walk out and come with this solution now let's define this solution okay so you can do multiple way of learning this is one so i'm going to interpret a for always you remember this supposed to be disable for what on network device we are network engineer this is working good for us but if you are not a network engineer we should not do this 
okay guys clear so let's go for my cfg file so where do i find my cfg file tell me guys cat etc and civil and then and civil cfg file so if i hit will complete work. so you will not find this file over there you this is the additional explicit you have to add this file okay so i'm going to go into the vm editor and i will simply add this so you have to remember you have to copy paste from the classroom as we have given the syntax okay now we have vim editor so i'm going to add this on the first point itself so where we have default so we have defaults here in class is so defined just i will copy my within the defaults i'm going to copy this and paste it so so I'm going to go into the insert mode. Test. This is not defined in your config file, CFG file. This is the explicitly defined. So if you want to define explicitly anything, you have to give the comments. What are you doing using J sorry? What are we doing using this? Okay, so I'm going to comments and um, this is only used for network any network automation engineer okay that's all so this is depend upon you what comments you give but it's a best practice you follow the comments so that you can able to know whenever you will going to study this cfg file okay now we are good to move let's play with my run so i'm going to play the run before that i will see my play having anything else or not nothing everything good looks good we save my and run so let's see those tasks should not generate wow now you can see all the interpreter information away and now we have task with the r1 r2 r3 we have next. okay guys everyone understand we are on the same page clear so if right. you have hundred of device you will not get the kind of okay that's already i saw so you will not get all the warning information related the python warning but i will get the warning those who are not related to python because we have disabled only one thing that is related to our pythons okay if you remember agree guys any questions if you have any questions let me know so uh, Ashupan, in real time projects, uh, is yeah. it a good practice to uh, make changes in uh, CFG files? Okay, that's another question. Good question. First, you don't have access of CFG files. I'm telling you. Okay. They have I means those who are engineering. Okay, this is going to be on the server where the you don't have control. So you can highlight your engineering team. To do cleaning of this part is unnecessary they will do that okay but however those who are experts they do disable according to their in means it's a fully customized according to you you are not going to do or if you are the owner of those servers the cfg file then of course you should do okay because server team having different Ansible server, they will not use your network team Ansible box. What do you agree or not? Yes. Because in, like in Doche, uh, okay, in my organization, they have uh, 
network engineer separate and single box because we have 32 thousand of device in there so no need to go for the server inventory is different okay so yes of course you are the network administrator you don't have this cfg file access but you can do activity local we should know why it's coming how to okay should i move to the next topic that is nothing the inventory file we have done this to both the topic we have completed how to create the inventory file we discussed here already and then training part here guys should i move to the jinja template and loop our interest yes okay so so before starting loop so i want to cover one topic of um, linux part that is called username creation so that on the same topic we're going to continue our lab for the loop okay so how to create the users and their groups so we will understand users and groups so i'm going to cover that part in the next video so i'm going to stop the recording here and i'm going to start for it thank you bye bye see you again